Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. We're here at Urkin Tappa. Our next region, or our, our next destination that we need to go to is Rapala. We need to find a boat. Uh, I'm here at Urkin Tappa because I did some leveling up and I got Momo in the party, so let's talk to Hondara see if he can give me any skills here. Alright, we did. I can tell by the dialogue that we are gonna get... Kiri! That's a nice little spell. Um. In all honesty, I don't, I can't really tell you that it's going to be of much use um, in, in this part of the game. Uh, we're reaching, you know, about 70% of the way through. Uh, but what Kiri does, if I remember correctly, let's see if I can find it. It says it destroys the undead for five. Um, the really, I guess the what it's really used for is when you fight the dragon zombie, you can one hit KO the dragon zombie. Um, and I guess I can't learn any more skills. I thought I might have leveled up uh, enough to learn his last skill, but I guess I haven't. So, anyways, um, in this episode, instead of going to Rapala, I'm actually going to be focusing quite a bit of my time on finding all the uh, Windian kids that were playing hide and seek with this. So, I, I wanted to show you guys, there was one kid who said that he's going to be where oil, uh, where it smelt like oil. And I just remembered that that place is in Junktown. Uh, so I'll show you guys where he is, if I remember correctly at least. I might have to do a little searching for myself. I know he's over here somewhere. Where is he? Let's look around. Get out of my way. Hmm. Let's do a little bit of searching around here. Did quite a bit of leveling since last time. Um, did a bit of fishing. God, where is this kid? Did a bit of fishing, um, pretty much finished up the fairy village. Now I have um, pretty much complete access to that. I'll hopefully upload that later today. And um, if you guys are interested in the... There he is. If you guys are interested in the fairy village and how to get that all set up and how you can take advantage of it, um, definitely check that video out. So we found this kid. He'll see us back in Windia, so that's good. Let's go find the others. Now that... Like I was saying, now that we have access to um, the eastern region, we can pretty much find everybody. So now we found two of the... How many are there? Are there like five or four? I think there's only four. Two of the four kids. The other kid that we want to find is actually... Well, oh, I won't say it. I mean, I'll just show you guys. We've got to go back to, um, to the Windian region, actually. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, I, um, I, I have been doing the Fairy Village quite a bit, um, by doing that, I've actually been, <laughs> I've taken advantage of it a little bit, for instance, some of the equips that I'm sporting now, I have the Tiger's Cap, which I bought from my merchant in, in the Fairy Village, it raises my power by, I think, five, yeah, pretty good, Amber Breastplate, really, really good, uh, defense equip there, um, haven't really got anything. I also equipped uh, the Tiger's Cap for, for Re there. I also bought the Steel Gauntlets too, so those are pretty nice also. Um, oh yeah, more importantly though, I did break down and I got the one of the most broken equips in the game, the Ivory Charm. The Ivory Charm, what it does, it says that it's like um, protection versus certain attacks. But basically, it, it gives you complete elemental invulnerability. So, <laughs> you know, all all elements like fire, frost, and thunder, that's actually going to cure you now. Um, it's just, it's a really, really good, good equip. And I, I most likely won't be using it to its broken, brokenness, how messed up it can actually be. So, the next place, if you remember, there was a kid here that said that they will be hiding um, in the in an area that connects this world to, th to the other. What they meant by that was the checkpoint. So if I remember correctly, there she is. You see her there in the corner? Yes. This is Lee. Well, we did find you, buddy. So she'll go see us back at Windia also. So that's good. Now we got her. So the last person that we actually need to find um, is the big guy. And his clue that he gave was that he would hide somewhere close. So I'm actually going to go get him last because he's actually hiding in Windia. Um, 
So we can go in Windia here. I should also mention, I haven't been able to enter Windia for quite some time. You know, because uh, Re and Nina, ever since that incident, we haven't been able to really um, come back to Windia. But anyways, there's the kids. Let's go find that last one. He is actually not in Windia the city itself. He's actually in the catacombs. So I'm just going to go over to the catacombs um, off screen and um, I'll pretty much show you guys where he is. Okay, so I'm here in the Windian Catacombs here. Remember this place where, uh, you know, when we first got Nina and everything like that? Well, this is actually where we're going to find the last member of the Hide and Seek crew. Um, if you remember, there was like this treasure right over here of uh, that wisdom fruit that was in there a long time ago. Well, behind this tombstone is Lang, I believe? Yeah, Lang. So that is the last of the Hide and Seek people, so now um, I'm just gonna meet you guys in Windian Square and talk to them, see what they'll give. Okay, so now we're in the Windian Town Center here with all the kids. Let's talk to them. I never guess you find everybody. From now on, you're all part of the game. So he is, they're actually gonna act as ma masters. So I'm gonna say no to him for right now. Um, but what I want to show you guys is that these masters aren't going to give you typical skills like all the other masters are going to give you. What these masters are going to give you, do you see how our formations, there's actually three more formations that you can get. So, actually, to be honest with you, when you master a, uh, an apprentice under these guys, they give you formations and they give you an item. So, the first person I want to learn under is Bice. And he's going to give a really, really good uh, formation. I think it's called the Chain Formation. More about that later when I actually get it. But I'm going to apprentice him to Re. Re's under M Bunyan, but that was just kind of for stats and level purposes. Um, you know, we've already got Bunyan skills. But every three levels, these guys will give you um, a new formation or an item. So, you know, these guys become our masters. So, you know, you can apprentice under them and three levels later, you'll get a formation. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, another thing that I want to do before heading over to Rapala and checking on the boat is I want to see if I can get another master. Remember, I've been telling you guys that you can actually get the Windian Cook as a master. His name is Hachio. The only um, requirement that he has is that you have to give him certain ingredients, certain items. And of those items, you gotta have, you have to give him like a swallow eye. Or what else do you gotta give him? Like an angler fish. You know, you get that only through fishing. So, um, what else do you get? You, you get you gotta give him various ingredients. And how you get to him is like I did there. I went through Durandal's house, went over here, and I'm gonna go in the kitchen. Let's see if I can get him. Sometimes. You have to progress through the story a little bit before actually being able to get him as a master. Let's see here, what does he say? Oh, there you go, see? He already has the dialogue. Yes, I have. I want to be a cook. Oh, I guess I already have all the ingredients I asked for, and I can't even tell you what those ingredients were that I just gave him, but um, I'll figure those out and I'll, paste, I'll post those in the video description. Like I said, it, I know there's a Martian squid, an angler, a beef jerky that you gotta give him, and a swallow eye, I believe. Um, you know, and that seems like all that you gotta give him. I'm gonna return here with Gar and actually apprentice Gar under him because uh, he's got a couple skills that I want to learn. So I'm just gonna do that off screen and I guess I'll just meet you guys outside of Windy. So something I wanted to mention actually before heading out to the world map is I never really showed you guys this little machine here at the um, portal uh, thing that was underneath the Windian Castle basement. It says here uh, there's a bunch of actual places that you can teleport to. For instance, let's go to Relay Point A. It, okay, it's just said code check NG, it didn't work. So instead of that, let's go to um, Donna Region. If I remember correctly, oh, what? Did it say locked? Um, basically what you have to do, let's go to Ural region. D destination locked. 
what you have to do is you have to unlock these destinations by going to the other altars and going to the other portals and unlocking them so that you can um, reach access to them. So uh, it, it's kind of nice because you don't have to walk all the way over there. Um, and wait, what? Did I get here already? Yeah, I am. This is the Ural region. Oh, okay. So yeah, I guess you don't have to activate the portals. They're already activated. But um, well, I guess if that's the case, let's let's try going to over to Imatai's house because I think uh, Ryu has leveled up enough to get another skill. Let, let's, that that kind of caught me by surprise. It was kind of weird. So this is automatically gonna take you back to Windy and Castle. Yeah. I know that's for sure. I thought they meant destination locked, as in like not able to get go to that destination. Let's go to Donna region. If you remember the Donna region, um, the portal drive that's over there was under Imatai's house. I don't understand like how you could not question these portal drives. By the way, like if I was living in a house and this this weird crazy altar was underneath my house, like I would be like, what the hell is going on here? So yeah, it looks like we can use it to talk to Imatai here. And looks like Ryu is gaining a deeper understanding of his magic. He's going to give us Mind Sword, so that's a really good ability. Um, stop talking, Imitai. No, shut up, shut up. Just, I just want to show them the skill that you taught us. God. Alright, so you go to Ryu here. Let's see their skill. Mind Sword only costs two, and it's attack with a magic sword. Basically, um, it's an attack that is based off of your intelligence stat. So Ryu's isn't really good right now, but someone like Momo and Nina, that could be pretty useful. It's a pretty strong attack too. Let's see if I learned any other skills. I, d I doubt that I did. Nope, there's nothing I can learn. So alright, so now that I've picked up all the skills that I want to, um, I've showed off the portal drive and everything like that, I guess the only place that I really can go now is um, to Rapala region to go check out on that boat. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just, just meet you guys on at Rapala and I'll do that off screen and everything like that. Just gotta remember to change the uh, teleport place to Windia. Alright, perfect. Well, I'll meet you guys over at Rapala now. Okay, so I just entered the wharf at Rapala. Let's see what's up on this boat here. I mean, we've never, we've, we have never been able to see the boat, and the boat's not even here. Awesome. So I'm beginning to think this boat doesn't even freaking exist, man. I mean, how many years has it been, and this boat is not back yet? Uh, it must have been like. Just, it, it must have crashed and had a shipwreck. Let's talk to Sin Car. You remember Sin Car, the guildsman leader? I mean, where the heck is Shadis and everybody, man? I, I don't understand. Why is this place like... Wow, I miss that. Why is this place like a ghost town? Like, no one is here. Sin Car! Answer me, what is going on here? I heard the bed went over to Junktown. Okay, so it looks like we need to go to Junktown instead. So sorry for thinking that we, we could actually go get a ship where it should have been at Rapala. Instead, I need to go over to Junktown. How convenient. Well, because I'm reaching time here, I'm probably going to cut it after I leave Rapala. Next time, I will meet you guys at Junktown. Let's see what the hell's going on with this ship, man. This is getting irritating.